we're up here in Nova Scotia focused on uh, solving the, the puzzle of the, the North Atlantic white shark population. White sharks have been studied around the world um, in places like South Africa, Australia, off the coast of California. But uh, we're just beginning to unravel um, some of the, the mysteries of the white shark in the North Atlantic, where they're giving birth, uh, their migratory patterns as they grow, uh, where they mate, which is possibly up here, and one of the reasons why we're here, and uh, what they feed on, what their survivorship is, and what their overall status is in, in the ocean right now. Um, so we're hoping to chip away at some of these questions while we're here in Nova Scotia over the next three weeks. And we're particularly interested up here in finding the, the mature adult males and females um, because we have evidence that they're here and uh, uh, very little work has ever been done on white shark in Canadian waters. I think the most exciting thing about what's going on up here is we captured a shark named Hilton down off the southeastern United States, off Hilton Head. We also tagged a shark named Lydia in 2013 off Jacksonville. We believe the sharks are aggregating to mate off Cape Cod in the fall and early winter, but those two mature sharks have never been to Cape Cod. They've been coming to Canada, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland. And so in other oceans, we've seen two separate mature shark mating aggregations, which we believe is where they're mating. And we're wondering if these sharks are showing us an unknown mature shark aggregation, which could potentially mean they're mating up here. And so if Hilton has led us up here and we do find other mature white sharks, in particular if we capture a mature female, in theory it takes them 18 months to gestate and grow their babies. 18 months from whenever we capture our first mature female up here, she may show us where the Canadian white sharks are giving birth. And that is the cornerstone of data to making sure the Canadian white shark thrives. We're standing on the OSERGE right now, which is a 126-foot research vessel. It's actually a converted Bering Sea crabber, which has this very unique lift. This lift can go over the side of the ship and pick up 75,000 pounds out of the water. And what we do is we have two smaller boats that are out that are fishing, trying to capture white sharks. They'll bring that fish back to here, put the white shark in the cradle, we'll pick it up. And what that's been is just transformational for science because it allows the scientists to stand around these sharks in a safe place with low impact on the shark and leverage all the latest technology to do about 15 research projects on the animal in 15 minutes and then let it go. Yeah, Lydia! Do your thing, big girl! It kind of came up to the Jaws era, and uh, ever since then we've been trying to, to move the needle away from being afraid of these animals, misunderstanding their role in the ocean toward uh, seeing more clearly that we need sharks for, for a healthy ocean and for, for the future of, of, of uh, fisheries and, and life in the sea.